take this a step further. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm going to McDonald's. You spoke about McDonald's. So what, would you agree? Would everyone here agree that McDonald's owns a piece of the fast food marketplace? So if we were to say the marketplace looked like a pie, they own a slice of the pie. Everyone agree with that? Yeah. Good. What slice of the pie do they own? A lot. Yes, but what slice? Put a name on it. You mean a figure? No, no, not a figure, a name. Who's their target market? Who do, who do they appeal to? When you think McDonald's... Children. 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 No, Families. more than that. Families. Families. McDonald's owns the family market. Okay. And because they're so clear that they own families, Okay. They're absolutely crystal clear. McDonald's, you're quite right, has the cheapest burgers. Have you ever seen McDonald's advertise saying, we have the cheapest burgers? Anybody here ever seen that advert for McDonald's? Yeah, Ma I'm pretty sure they have. They no, have you've seen them say they've got a loose yeah. change menu. Oh, okay. They've yeah. never said they have the cheapest right. burgers. They do. The cheeseburgers, mm -hmm. $1 burger is the cheapest burger you can buy. They've never advertised it though. Yeah. They do not advertise themselves as being cheap. They've got a reputation for consistency. Have you ever seen that advertised anywhere? No. No. They have a reputation for cleanliness. You know, one of the great things, if you travel the world, one of the safest places to find a clean toilet is McDonald's. <laughs> okay. Have you ever seen them advertise that we're the cleanest? No. no. Their entire marketing message, you look at any single McDonald's promotion, is targeted towards one group. It's this group over here. It's the family group. Now, they were the first people to bring playgrounds into fast food outlets. They were the first people to come up with a happy meal. Okay. As, in terms of their corporate responsibility, who do they sponsor? Ronald McDonald, Ronald McDonald House. And who is Ronald McDonald House there for? Family. Families, when their kids are sick. Every single thing that they do is focused around families. You guys seen the little lollipop kids that walk out on the street and, and do the site? You all seen that? Okay, great. Do you realize that the reason kids aspire to it, you aspire to be a lollipop kid. So what you do is, the, in your school, in, in primary schools, there is this lofted position which says that if you are lucky enough, you will be chosen to come to school early and to leave late. You'll be chosen to stand in the rain, the wet and the cold, and at the end of all of that, you will get to have a free cheeseburger and a free movie. Well, yes, exactly, <laughs> and, and it is one of the most coveted positions in schools. Anybody who's got kids that are going through that will know how much they covet being a lollipop kid. Which means at the end of the year, you get to walk into town with all the other schools, with McDonald's blazing proudly across your chest, to say that you were that kid. So McDonald's are now associated with this prime reward in a children's mind. Because what are the children doing? They're keeping families safe. When they talk about who they target, everything is around it. You can do whatever you like in the fast food world. You are not allowed to touch that piece of the pie. I think it was Burger King. Lovely case study to read. Burger King attempted to release Happy Meals. McDonald's almost crushed them to non-existence. You can do anything you like, you cannot touch that piece of the pie. How did they crush them? I sued them blind. <laughs> okay, because they, they were releasing a Happy Meal. They were giving away toys in the same vein as a Happy Meal. And, and you just can't do that because that's McDonald's territory. It's what keeps bringing kids back to McDonald's. My daughter, when she was two years old, could, would be the quickest to spot a McDonald's sign anywhere. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, about KFC, though. They're pretty much family. I'd say they're even more family oriented, to be fairly honest. And they do kids' toys. Yeah, but they don't own the word. Okay, they, they don't. So when you think KFC, how many of you would think families when you think KFC? No, I've seen no. a lot of food. Yeah, you see a lot of food. But no, really. their, their target market is about buckets. And they're appealing a lot more to groups of people rather than to families. Domino's Pizzas, okay. All heard of Domino's Pizzas? Who's their target market? Students, absolutely. And do you know what? Because they were so clear on students... Because they said, great, who are we targeting? We're targeting students. The message that they put out, and this is what we're going to move on to next, this USP. The message they put out, what made Domino's the most famous pizza place in the world? Delivery. Delivery. What was their tagline? Free delivery. And no. Free pizza if they didn't get there. Oh. Free pizza if you didn't get there in 30 minutes. 30 minutes or it's free. 
You see, once they understood their target market being students, what they were able to do is they said, great, well, now that we know this person so well, what do we know about them? They love anything free. <laughs> That's fantastic. But also, what do a lot of students do? They work late at night, they don't look after themselves, and they suddenly feel hungry when nothing's open. Mm. And so they said, oh, yeah. that's interesting. So why don't we just make it available? You wanted the answer. The answer to sales and marketing is very simple. Having spent years in the field, I have found there is one answer to sales and marketing. Okay? There is not a single question you can ask me in the field of sales and marketing that I cannot answer with this answer. It quite simply is this. Find out what your target market wants and give it to them. It is the answer to every single sales and marketing question I have ever been asked. I have never been asked one that I cannot ultimately answer with that. Find out what they want and give it to them. So what they said was, our ideal target market is students. What appeals to students is this whole aspect of the food will get there when I'm hungry. So, deliver it in 30 minutes or it's free. Anybody here ever heard of FedEx? Mm -hmm. What's FedEx famous for? On time. Mm -hmm. More than just on time. Do you know what? When, when, when they looked at the market of delivery, they were a tiny little fish in a very, very big pool. And they said, if we're going to compete in here, we need a niche. We need a niche. What's that niche going to be? Who are we going to talk to and what bait are we going to dangle in front of them that they're going to bite it? And the thing that the, what they came up with was that they were only going to target people who wanted to do overnight delivery. And they came up with this tagline that said, when it absolutely, positively has to be there overnight, FedEx it. Mm -hmm. To the point where they now own the word. Some people still say, oh, FedEx that, meaning overnight that. Okay? Google owns a word. If you Google something, what are you doing? Searching. You're searching for it. Once again, they understood their target market. Please, I cannot stress this enough. If you want a successful business, be very, very clear who you're talking to. As soon as you've ascertained that, as soon as you've spent the time working that through, the rest of your marketing plan becomes a breeze. Mm. An absolute breeze. And how do you do it? Um, it does require some thought. Now, Henry Ford said, thinking is one of the hardest things human beings have to do. Which is why so few human beings actually do it. <laughs> okay? So, how do you do it? You identify, who do I want to work with? Which group of people do I want to work with? Inside that group of people, who's my ideal person? Who would I really, really want to serve? Business is about serving people. Mm -hmm.